Good soldiers follow orders. Hey Bella Force users, what is up? It's Jasmine, the Ahsoka Tano fan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is like my uh, little Stormtrooper cosplay here. I've worn it before, but I figured why not bring it out again in time for Andor, a brand new Star Wars series that's been uh, pretty highly anticipated. Although I don't think it was in the beginning. To be honest but i think ever since the trailers were released people have been more hyped about it i myself was kind of on the fence about it the idea of making a show about a character you know whose faith we already know i was thinking oh, is there really a point to it but then again like we did have kenobi right so <laughs> and we know Obi-Wan's fate, obviously. I'm looking forward to this series for sure. It does take place before the events of Rogue One, obviously, when we see Andor, Cassian and Andor team up with Jyn Erso um, to steal the Death Star plans. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more about his backstory. Um, I think that this series is definitely gonna make us see him in a different light and specifically see the events of Rogue One in a different light as well. I'll bet that there'll probably be references or little hints of foreshadowing to Rogue One in the series. And I wonder if we'll even see some characters from Rogue One show up in the series as well. Cameos might be possible too. And it is before the events of episode four. So we could see any characters from the Clone Wars possibly. Pretty wide open in terms of who we could see make an appearance in the show. Uh, but most importantly, yeah, I am looking forward to learning more about Cassian because we didn't really know so much about him. Obviously he was only in one movie and that's it. So this series will give them the opportunity to develop his character. I only watched one trailer at the beginning, but I haven't really been keeping up with so many of the latest trailers and clips and things like that. I kind of prefer to go in blind for the most part. I feel like it's more fun that way. So without further ado guys, let's blast into the episode and see what's in store for us. I'm getting tired of holding this, so I'm gonna put this down for the video. I feel like this is the first bit of Star Wars content we've gotten since Kenobi, right? Which feels like it was so long ago, to be honest. Are they gonna have like the credits roll out like in Star Wars or? Mm, visually, it looks so nice. Oh, that's the title. That's pretty epic. I thought that was actually the opening scene. I thought they were going to a planet. That is cool. Okay, I'm guessing that's him. Marlena one, okay. Corporate zone. What is that? No comms, no credit, no nonsense. Mm -hmm. Upstairs lounge is closed tonight. Who's at some sort of club? Just send you one crying. <laughs> Do they think he's hitting on her or something? Who's that who just walked in? Her. Welcome. I picked a great night. It's so lovely and quiet this evening. Excuse me. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a fight or something? We've been waiting, they just got here. Behave. Oh, they're just sentry guards. They like to play at being cops. It's annoying. Looking for something special tonight. A friend of mine said there was a girl named Canary. Is this like a strip club? I think so, right? It was a small mid-rim system. Canary. They're looking like they want to fight him. I really haven't been watching too much Cobra Kai, guys. I'm just Did used to look like, looking at fights. <laughs> Definitely not. That is a hard look for a little thing like you. What are you? Boyfriend, husband? For my sister. Oh, it's a sister. Oh, what was her name? Nobody here gives their real name. I wonder what happened to her. It says the exact same thing to everybody, the, the doorman. Okay, someone is maybe, maybe following him or watching him here? I just get the feeling, oh. The guys from the club. Yeah, I mean, you know about the visitor's curfew, right? No, we'd have to impound your ride. Is he gonna beat these guys up right now? <laughs> I bet you he's a really good fighter too. Well, I guess we kind of know from Rogue One, but... There you go. I got 300 credits in my coat pocket. He's gonna try and lure them in so he can fight them. I'm not moving. If you wanted, you take it and I walk away. Yeah. I think so. No. Oh, the pocket. On the same side as the gun. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Get 
get him off. Not so tough now. Wait, is he dead? I think he's dead. <gasps> Are you serious? Stop breathing. Burn out. Oh, now, now he's gonna have a murder charge. Self-defense. That's what he could plead as his case. Is he gonna kill him too? We had a misunderstanding. Oh, he is, I think. He tried to grab you and, and he fell. He's gonna kill him, I think. Tell him what happened. Oh, <gasps> damn. That's too bad, because that was completely avoidable. Just started his night at the club. Ended it off killing two people. Now he's definitely going to be on the run. Those look like boars, kind of. Oh. Oh my gosh. Rude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so whose droid is this? Is this Cassian's droid? Or just a random droid? Doesn't that look like his ship? Cassian ship? Cassian. Yeah. So what happened to his sister? Oh, this thing's itchy sometimes. Is it an Imperial ship that I'm looking at? Or a, dro a spy droid? Hmm. Someone's crashing. I do have subtitles on, but it's not telling me what they're saying. So I'm not sure. So somebody crashed. But where were you? Rasso wasn't looking for you. Pausing for data lag. Oh shoot. Marva said you were out ruining your health and reputation with friends of low character. Oh my god. So who's Marva and Brasso? It's like his parents or something? Family members? Can you make a lie for me? I can lie. I have adequate power reserve. <laughs> Don't tell anybody you know where I am. Well, do I? I can't come with you. Not now. Mm. Oh my god, I see a Durrell's person there. Bane species. So what happened to his sister? That seems to be the predominant question so far in this episode. Is he trying to break into there or something? Okay, they're workers. Hey. Oh, that, that's. You don't look so good. Brasso? You can buy for me, but I wasn't there. So then you started home and you saw me at the hotel bridge. You're serious? He wants him to lie to you. <laughs> you could have been asking. So Carlos was out, but then you remembered you still had half a bottle of Nox stashed at home. So we went there and drank ourselves to sleep. Because he needs his alibi, right? Because he killed those guys. So was that his brother or something? I was helping you back into your chair when you fell. You were <laughs> gone when I woke up. You come in now to apologize. He's good, man. I knew I could count on you. I'm not lending you any money. I knew that too. Either his brother or a really close friend or something. Or cousin. Or... More Elena ones. Okay, so this is where he killed the guys, right? So he's definitely going to have a target on his back. Too many dead, sir. That's not worth staying up for, then I'm not worthy of the uniform. Have you modified your uniform? Damn, why are you standing like that, man? So Perhaps tense. slightly. And some light tailoring. <laughs> That's why, because it's too small for him. Kravas, he was a squad commander on four. He's obviously fallen a great deal since then. He was a sentry corporal. Oh, they're implying not anybody could just take him down. One of the most unpleasant people I've ever met. Oh, damn. A human with dark features asking about a canary girl who might have been working. Does he know who he is? Dedicated Primor employees caught in the sad orbit of heroic calamity. But they were murdered. No, they were killed in a fight. Ah. Uh, They're in a brothel, a drinking room, of which we're not supposed to allow. Brothel, yeah, sorry. Brothel or a strip club. I was thinking one of the two. They clearly harassed a human with dark features and chose the wrong person to annoy. To be honest, he's not 100% wrong, but... Still murder? They died being helpful. Sad but inspiring in a mundane sort of way. That's why you, you really have to be careful who you antagonize. Because you never know what could happen, you know? 
Minimizing the time the end pass spends thinking about pre-op benefits our superiors and by extension everyone you. here at the inspection team, which at the moment includes you. At the moment, does that mean he could fire him? <laughs> He's like, at the moment, but at the next moment you might not be here. <laughs> Who is that? That looks like it could be his sister, maybe. I don't know why I assume it's a sister, but just looks like a woman and they know he's looking for a sister, so I just assumed, I guess. What? What happened to you? I fell. On what? A jealous husband? A friend, I guess? And then you reach out at the end of the month? This would have to be now. Huh, that's not how it works. She's so pretty, wow. There's a Czech Corvette coming in next week. Thing you've got? You've got a few naval comms can I can't in. wait that long. Why? Because I'm on the run. What is it? Uh, I got an untraceable witness 9 star Prothionic. I've been saving it. I'm guessing it comes from one of my bits. Not your best move, Cassie. Do you know how much that's worth? I'm not selling this to you, Biggs. I need every credit I can put my hands on. Are we betting on the Bobani run tomorrow? Well, that's the other guy, right? Rasa? Are you... What? Turned into something more than work. Promise he knows nothing about any of them. Oh, is she a thing with the other guy, maybe? He knows nothing about any of them. Biggs, you said he wanted to meet. I really mean this. I'll let him know. I think they used to be a thing, though. Cassie and, and this girl, Biggs. Kind of sent something. He seems upset. It's good to see you, Tim. Oh, Tim, sorry, you know what? I thought it was the other guy, Brasso, from the beginning. The construct, the guy that was working as a miner? Tired of hearing that. Then you better find yourself a less complicated woman. Okay, so probably Cassian's gonna end up with her by the end of the season or series. Interesting. So as they're telling the present story, they're also telling, um, like showing the flashbacks and telling the past story. I wish I knew what they're saying though. So I guess she wanted to be a part of this ceremony and he didn't let her? Why is she looking at him like that? Does she like him? Can't really tell. This guy almost looked like he could play a robot, like an android, don't you think? He's got very like defined and distinct features? I don't know. Wait, go back. Go back. Oh, so he's not gonna let this go. What is that? Whatever it is, I wanna know when it left and where it went. You'd have to filter the entire night. Then do it. That's what I was gonna oh, say. It's too much for you, let me know. I'm sure somebody <laughs> wants the chair. So he's like acting boss until the boss comes back, right? Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> it's a hurry. I want my deposit back. It's in play. Just waiting to hear they're on site. Cassian's a scammer, isn't he? I'm not one of these losers gonna let you float until they forget how much you owe them. You're here with him to threaten me? He said all I need to do is stand here. Ah. Uh -huh. You think I'm messing around? I hope so. Damn. Give the guy his money, man. Right? Hey, what's up? Aaron, don't be long. He suspects something. Yeah, there's definitely, I feel like, a love triangle there between her, that guy, and Cassian. Her and Cassian, I think, are probably gonna end up together. He's following her. What if he sees her meet up with Cassian? Oh, he might out himself. Oh, he made up. Oh no, I thought she was walking back. He lost her. Mind your business, man. She's definitely into some shady business. I haven't seen you lately. Good. Some of us were bending my stack filter. You might have to dig a little. She gonna find something else here or run into something? Who's she contacting? Or what's she listening to? Look alive. He's always been up. Blue noodles. Interesting. So it looks pretty good. Canary human males on Ferrix. There's not a lot about Canary, sir. It's fairly obscure. We'll have to put the word out. On oh, Ferrix. Is it not under our jurisdiction? Put out a bulletin. Canary human men wanted for questioning. Slam the channels, flood it. Hmm. How's this boss gonna feel when he returns? Oh, yeah, we saw these creatures at the beginning. I'm almost done. Is that yellow dim chip lock? It's the old one. What in the name of Trump is going on out there? It's a customer on run. He has to go back now. I didn't like the way it was running last night. Leave it better than you found it. The way you always do. The Cassian way. <laughs> and I ask if I could borrow it again tomorrow. No more favors. No more deal. Finish up. Get out. Damn. So I wonder, did they get separated from his sister when they were young, like here? Or was it more recently in their life? I'm guessing she wants to come, but he wants her to stay. Papa? 
Okay, so something tells me that was the last time that he saw her. Oh, okay. Oh, it's time. Okay. Make sure there's no end credit scene. Okay, so interesting start to the show. It's nice to see Diego Luna back again as well. He's been in quite a few projects. But aside from Star Wars, where I know him from is Narcos, Mexico. He did a great job in that. So in this episode, we were shown a planet. I think it was called Marlena One. And it looks like it's a planet that is governed by some type of corporation, which is interesting. They don't always agree, it looks like. The one man was very interested in finding out what happened to the employees, while the, the other man, the boss, um, kind of wanted to sweep it under the rug. But it looks like now that the boss has left, the man that is in charge now is definitely trying to do his own thing and, and finding Cassian. The whole opening sequence when Cassian ended up killing those two guys, that definitely I think set the tone for the rest of the series. I think that that one thing is what is ultimately going to cause him to get tangled up in the Empire. This corporation doesn't seem to be directly connected with the Empire, but they kind of seem to do things their own way. And for the most part, they want to kind of stay off the Empire's radar. I think that's the reason why the boss doesn't want to investigate this as a murder um, and wants to just kind of dismiss it as an accident. Now, I don't know if we've ever seen this from Star Wars yet, where you have a private corporation separate from the Empire. Going forward, as the Empire grows more and more powerful, you might see more of these corporations actually start to work with the Empire. You may see people kind of work their way up, maybe start off with the corporation and then end up going on to work for the Empire down the road. Either way, you're kind of starting to see the, the very early stages of the Empire. This guy is on the hunt for Cassian now. What will that lead to down the road? Cassian, you could tell, He's definitely kind of caught up in his own um, entanglement. He has people lie for him, he owes people money, he's kind of involved in some smuggling business. But now he's got somebody hunting him down and for murder. So how will that play into the mix uh, on top of everything else that he has going on? He definitely seems to not have that many friends. A lot of people seem like they almost like have no, no patience with him. So we don't really know exactly what's gone down. Um, the series is kind of starting in a way where they're hinting at a lot of things, but I think they'll kind of explain them later down the road. It's interesting that they're showing the side of Cassian, um, a more selfish side, you could say, where he owes people money and he's gotten into these problems because it just kind of makes his sacrifice in Rogue One all the more impactful and monumental for his character because obviously that's the most selfless thing you could do. And we got to figure out what's going on there with that, that girl that he's working with it looks like there might be a little bit of a love triangle going on. I, I sense something between her and Cassian. I don't know, maybe if they used to date or something like that. It looks like she's with somebody else now, but her and Cassian are kind of in the shady business and the new boyfriend doesn't know what's going on. You can only uh, infer that he'll find out one day. I think that shows there's like a certain level of trust between her, I think her name's Bix actually, and Cassian that she doesn't share with her new boyfriend, uh, Tim, I believe was his name. I think that could also get them into some trouble down the road, especially if the Empire becomes involved. Will the new boyfriend maybe go to the Empire once he finds out something's going on? Probably the biggest question in this episode is what happened to Cassian's sister. From the very beginning, he visits that uh, brothel asking for a girl from Canari, who he later says is his sister that he's looking for. We then see over the course of the episode a series of flashbacks to a young Cassian and his sister. They don't tell you what is being said, which in a way is more powerful because then you're left to only rely on the scene and the acting and the body language to kind of infer what's being said. You have these group of kids that look like, they all look pretty young, who are maybe stranded somewhere they have like a tribe something crashes some ship crashes in the distance and by the end there it looks like cassian decides to go with them to investigate the crash and it looks like the sister wants to come but he has her stay behind the way he looked at her i'm assuming that's probably the last time they saw each other i like how the flashback scenes are happening at the same time as the present day scenes it definitely implies that they are related in some way or another you can tell also that he's very into ships so by him leaving it to investigate the crash site and therefore abandoning his sister, does that imply that he kind of chose his interests over his sister? And that is maybe like a guilt he now feels 
because she's been lost now in some way. I'm also wondering who it is that crashed. These are all things they're probably gonna get to a bit later on, but yeah, it's kind of cool how they're doing that, showing us two stories happening at the same time, but yet they happen at different points in time. Anyways, a pretty good start to the series, guys. We've got episode two and three left of the premiere because obviously all three of them had dropped today. So yeah, you let me know what you thought of episode one down below in the comments, as always. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. And I will see you soon for episode two of Andor. Until next time, guys, take care and see you soon.